Okay. Ay, loco. Okay. All references uh, ready for another week. <laughs> well, very busy last week. Friends and colleagues, I hope you are always uh, well, uh, staying safe from COVID. Yan ang ating number one na dapat na alalahanin. In time for me here, dahil uh, vaccinated na ako. Well, uh, kayang-kaya naman, but I still have to be careful. Last week, uh, I started the week with my usual Monday conference with my staff, my executive committee meeting. Then I presented to the media my eight new spokespersons sa National Task Force LCAP. Dinagdagan namin yung, ano, yung aming spokespersons para lahat ng sectors mayroon nagsasalita. And we will again add uh, more spokespersons sa uh, region, sa 17 regions, para maganda ang ating uh, information, uh, public information system sa, sa mga regions. As if uh, the day was not done, uh, I had to attend to a court hearing, uh, a perjury case against uh, uh, organizations that have been financing the NPA schools sa, ano, sa Mindanao. Kaya medyo uh, mabigat ang Monday natin. Ganun din ang Tuesday dahil uh, yan ang aking ano eh. Uh, that's my uh, regular weekly meeting for the National Task Force for the West Philippine Sea where I'm also, I'm the chairman. Then sa hapon, I went to the Supreme Court for the hearing for the Anti-Terrorism Act. Kailangan nandun ako because I'm the vice chairman of the uh, Anti-Terrorism Council. Wednesday, yun na, interview ko na for West Philippine Sea. And again, hearing ko, uh, I appeared before Supreme Court. I gave my testimony on the history of uh, terrorism sa Pilipinas. Thursday, dalawang interview. Then sa hapon, yun namang interagency task force for uh, emerging infectious diseases, COVID. Ito yung national task force natin. Friday, isang interview. Then uh, had lunch with my staff and uh, some army people. Pinakamagandang Sunday kanina dahil nakapag-golf ako. <laughs> So, ganun ang uh, mga typical schedule natin. I will start uh, again Monday tomorrow. Uh, then the afternoon, I'll with my execom meeting and then uh, press conference. Go to the Supreme Court at uh, for the 2.30 uh, resumption. Mag-testify ulit ako. Then uh, meet with the President probably at uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Tuesday, uh, turnover ng ano, may bago tayong Army Commander. Uh, 8.30 in the morning, siya na ang uh, iluluklok natin. And so, pupunta ako doon, but at 10.30, I have to preside over the National Task Force for West Philippine Sea. Paulit-ulit lang, uh, Wednesday, I will have my press con, uh, my interview, but I will have time also for my dental appointment. <laughs> Kailangan natin yun. Thursday, interview with PD4, PTV4. Lunch with uh, friends from the media. And then yung IETF for COVID. Then Friday will be unique because I will be presiding again over the National Committee for National uh, Cyber Security Interagency Committee. Another work. So, chairperson tayo doon cyber security, mabigat din. So, mayroon tayong West Philippine Sea, mayroon tayong Anti-Terrorism Council, mayroon tayong National Task Force to end the local communist armed conflict. So, there will always be something to do, but uh, on a personal note, uh, ito, maski na 
if you prepare properly, then uh, there should be no problem. Tulad nito, Sunday, prepared ko na yung mga references ko for basic preferences, uh, references for the week. 10.30 na, time to sleep. Pero, sige lang, tapos na. Then, uh, I'm happy that uh, nakapag-golf ako ng Sunday. Uh, and uh, within a week, I go to the driving range to papawis ako. So, it should always be, you should always take care of your uh, physical health. Sa mental health naman, eh, uh, kuminsan, tumingin ka din ng cellphone. Uh, dito sa cellphone ko, siguro, mga 200, 2,000 messages araw-araw dito. Ini-scan ko na lang. And uh, pag may maganda, kasi panay official naman to, pero pag may nakakatawa, eh, gumaganon din ako. Uh, two hours a day ako sa cellphone. Uh, then, uh, ngayon, uso ang work from home. Eh. So, probably twice a day talagang nandito na ako sa bahay. Kaharap ko yung aking uh, laptop. Diyan na ako nagsusum meeting. Kung minsan mayroon pang isa dito dahil may isang conference. <laughs> uh, okay lang. Okay lang. Uh, it's part of uh, when you accomplish something, uh, it's always a good feeling. Uh, kung wala ka namang ginagawa, it's uh, so boring and uh, there is no sense of accomplishment. Kailangan lagi kang may nagagawa lalong-lalong lalo na para sa bayan. Kayo mga kabataan, you just take it easy. Alam ko na hindi kayo nakakalabas masyado ngayon. Make the most out, out of it. Pagdating siguro ng December, may Christmas tayo maganda. Then uh, January, baka mag-face to face na kayo sa klase. Back to normal, hopefully. Let's pray for that. Uh, basta mag-ingat lang kayo kung anong sinasabing minimum health standards, gawin ninyo. Kasi para sa inyo yan. You have so much uh, for you. Yung mga 16 years old hanggang 25, napakarami pa yung uh, mga inoompisahan o ginagawa na na kailangan tapusin ninyo. Make the most out of it. But uh, always give your uh, self time, mas kina busy busy kayo. And uh, always uh, reserve some time for your loved ones. Huh? Uh, and about, uh, especially even those who are abroad, kasi alam mo naman tayo mga Pilipino, uh, marami tayong kamag-anak. Ako mayroon pa akong a brother and two sisters in the U.S., kaya... Maganda ang exchange namin sa mabuti na lang. Mayroon na tayong Viber, Whatsapp. Hindi na, nga, hindi na masyado makonsumo. Hindi gaya nung una ako napunta ng Amerika noong 1983. Pag tumawag ka, $10 per minute. Eh ngayon, eh, libre na. Mayroon pang, ano, mayroon pang uh, video. So, things are good. Mas na marami tayong trabaho, okay lang. Para sa bayan, <laughs> maganda yung lagi tayong may ginagawa. It will be a very busy week again. I hope uh, uh, kayo din uh, may mga gagawin talagang kailangan yung gawin. Uh, make the most out of it. Huh? God bless. God bless sa inyong lahat. Be happy. <laughs> Work hard. Play hard. Be happy and be safe. See you again next week, my friends. Mga kabataan, mga ating mga kaibigan dyan sa abroad. See you again. <laughs>